Most of the time, it was like really good fun. Like we, like one of my big memories of us driving to my grandma's in Victoria. She used to work in the, and live in the artillery mansions in, in Victoria. And um, every Saturday, um, me and my sister and and uh, granddad would drive to Victoria from Twickenham. Stop off at the deli in Chiswick, <laughs> and he'd speak Italian. And he's buying all this stuff and that, you know. They all knew him and that. And then, and then we go to Victoria, <clears throat> and inevitably, every single fucking time, he would have an argument with his dad, you know. And it was all about the family thing, you know. You know, it's like, come on, you got, you got to go back to Sicily. And he was always doing that. You've got to get the name back and all, all this stuff. And he's like, I'm not interested, Dad. You know, he wasn't feeling it. I'm, yeah, he said he was. As far as he was concerned, he was a Londoner. You know, and there was a whole scene of of like Italians in London, London then. You know, from the war, a lot of lot of uh, Italians stayed behind, met kind of um, you know who had been imprisoned here, sort of thing, like, uh, what do you call, prisoners of war, and the Italians were like, they were like, fuck that, we're not going to try and escape, you know, we're, this is cool, you know, all the girls love us, the, 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 the prison guards are like, sort of, they like us, so they're letting us, they were like, like letting them go to local towns and stuff like that, so it's like, yeah, man, I like this. This is cool, you know. And they open up delis and coffee bars and and stuff like that. That's how it all started in the West End. Italians sort of yeah. like really sort of got things going in the West End. So it sort of like became more cosmopolitan there, you know. And so there was a real kind of scene going on, and uh, and he was writing that scene and and loving it, you know. <clears throat> he knew London like the back of his hand, you know, he really was sort of, you know, and he was a sportsman as well, he was an ice hockey player, yeah. he used to do yeah, cross country cycling, like, you know, high level, he, 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 um, he was offered a scholarship in Canada to, uh, to play ice hockey oh, and go, go to university and he turned, didn't want to go, he wanted to stay in London. time I came back and I'd just been nicking stuff from Woolworths in Twickenham and I got this really swanky belt you know and uh, and I think I had a fishing rod as well I nicked a fishing rod like oh. a full fishing rod on display just picked it up and walked through the shop with it sort of pulling it apart as I was walking through do you know what I nicked do you know what I nicked from Woolworths once what? I put a Toblerone up the sleeve of my arm <laughs> <laughs> a big long and walked out of it
Then I kind of like buried it for years and years and years until I became a father and then it all started coming out again. It all started re-emerging because, you know, at the start I, I didn't have a role model to, to learn how to be a father as well. And it was weird because I, I think I was better handling girls because I've been surrounded by girls all my, most of my life. You know, it's when you start going into your teens, I didn't know what to do. You know? I really didn't. Yeah. You know, it's all right when you were li little, but when you were sort of having a difficult time in your teens, I didn't, I didn't know how to handle it. And for me, it's like sort of taekwondo. This is our link, and we've got a, you know, so every week I, or every twice, twice a week I take you to taekwondo, and it's our moment where we could like sort of be together and bond and stuff, you know? Yeah, and she actually said to me, said to me and my sister at the end of it, there was this one particular guy who were like, yeah, come on, man. he's got loads of money as well, come on, come on, like that. And so in the end she went, look, I, 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 I've, had, I've had the best guy that I could ever have, you know, and no one will ever come anywhere near it. Who's your name?